An alleged drug dealer arrested in a sting just hours after police say a person he sold heroin to overdosed. News 12 Long Island's Eileen LaPalmer has that story. It's estimated there's at least one heroin overdose a day on Long Island. Yesterday afternoon, there was one in Lynbrook. That woman survived after being revived by Narcan. But that was not the end of the story. Lindbrook police and Nassau narcotics cops then launched a full investigation to find out where the potentially fatal heroin had come from. It's now routine procedure. The purpose of that is to gather information that we can go and find out who these drug dealers are, whether it's from the phone, from social media. In the case last night, uh, the victim, uh, we, the phone that we got from the victim, from that phone, police say they saw the victim had been in touch with 35-year-old Joseph Dahari of Woodmere. Police then set up a sting agreeing to meet Dahari here in the parking lot of the CVS on Merrick Road in Lindbrook. And police say when Dahari arrived, he had 85 bags of heroin on him. According to court documents, the glassine bags were imprinted with black ABC. Police say the victim had overdosed on heroin that had been branded the same exact way. Every heroin bag that you get has a stamp on it. The reason you stamp it, you want to have ownership to it because yours is the best heroin in the market. Drug treatment expert Steve Chassman says along with treatment, tracking back the dealers is key to getting a handle on the heroin crisis. Obviously getting the heroin off the street so it's not distributed to other people, putting them potentially at risk for overdose and fatality. And most importantly, you know, these are felony criminals who are distributing uh, a highly toxic drug. In Lindbrook, Eileen LaPalmer, News 12, Long Island. Well, according to court records, Dahari has no prior convictions. He was arraigned today on the drug charges and held on $350,000 bond.